Hi friends, in this video, let's uh, talk about YTD function in the Power BI DAX. It is one of the important function in the Power BI DAX. It means that year to date. Let us say, so I want to display the total sales till date starting from the year. So let us assume it today is August 15th. So when I say YTD for August 15th, it means that sales starting from January 1st to August 15th. It is a sum of the all the sales starting from that day to till today. So when you are calculating for the June 30, when you are applying YTD for June 30, it means that sales starting from January 1st to June 30th. That is nothing but a YTD. So if you see, let me write down in notepad. So if you are identifying a sales for June 30, it means that sum of the sales, the calculation will look like this. Sum of the sales starting from 1st Jan to let me make it as order app. Yep. 1st Jan to till June 30. This is the sales amount of June 30. Now if you are doing for January 30 sales let us say Jan 30. In the same way sum of the sales starting from 1st Jan to Jan 30. Now if you are doing sales for the Jan 2nd, it means that sum of the sales starting from 1st Jan till Jan 2nd. So even though Jan 2nd is the next day, then you will be getting first sales plus second sales equal to Jan 2nd sales YTD. It is a YTD function, YTD of sales Jan. If you see this, the same way YTD of jails, uh, sales Jan 30. The same way YTD of sales June 30. So this is how we need to apply a YTD function in the technology. So not only in the Power BI, the functionality of the YTD is always the same even in any technology. So let me show you how to implement that in the Power BI DAX. So before going to show you practically in the Power BI, let me show you what are all the tables which I am planning to use. Let me go to SQL Server Management Studio and let me show you the list of tables which I am planning to use. If you see, the first table is select star from sales. If you see, so this is a sales table which contains date as well as sales amount. So I have taken a sample table which contains around 13 records with the respect to dates and respect to sales amounts. Now the second table is I am going to take as a dim date. So let's run this dim date is a normal table which contains a date key date full date UK full date USA and all some other keys all there. So I don't worry on the other keys. So I am going to talk much on the date related key only. So these are the two tables which I am planning to use. So if you are planning to practice YTD, let's create a table with the name of sales and add the columns date as well as sales and next table is dim date. If you see this is a dim date. So I'm not going to use all these columns starting from full date UK. These columns I'm not going to use at all. These are the columns which are there as a part of our normal standards. Now let's come back to the Power BI window where I'm going to start the usage of the YTD. Let's open the Power BI desktop. So once it opens, I'll implement the YTD. Now, yes, it's open. Let's close this. Yeah, now let's come here and let's get the data. So as I showed you the SQL data, so let's come to the SQL server and provide the server name here. My server name is dot slash equal to 012. My DB name is 
BB training. So click on OK. Yes. So here I am going to select the tables which I showed you earlier. Sales table as well as dim date table. Let's click on load. If you understand very clearly, these are the two tables which I am planning to use. But these two tables are not linked in the database. Here I am going to establish a relation in the Power BI. How to establish? Let's go to the manage relationships. So here you need to click on new and select the table. Here the first table you can select any of it. Either sales or whatever it is. Select this column and the other table is dim date. It automatically selects. Here this is the date column which I linked. So here one to one. Okay, and click on uh, if the cardinality is one to one or many to one because as per the data is one to one is fine for me. So cross filter is both. Let's click on okay. Now I have a relation between these two tables. Click on close. Okay. Now if you see the if you go to the relationship view, there you can see the relationship between these two tables. Now let's come to the data view. So this is the sales. Now this is the data which I am getting it as a part of the as a part of our uh, load so now here i am going to apply a ytd function so here ytd function before applying a ytd function let me sort the data either ascending or descending let me sort in ascending if you see uh, january is 6 january 22nd february these all you can see the data like this i have a data starting from january till uh, uh, 20th of uh, august now let me add a new column to calculate a ytd Let's click on the new column. So in this new column, I'm going to write a formula to calculate YTD. So I just clicked on new column here instead of column by default name of the column will be column here. I'm writing as a YTD. So you can put whatever the name you want. So I am keeping the name of the column as YTD equal to total here it system by default. You have some function. The name of the function is total YTD. You can read the description. Evaluate the specified expression over the interval which begins on the first day of the year and ends with the last date in the specified date column after applying specific filters. Okay, it means that so as I showed you in the notepad, so that is about YTD. Let's select the YTD of it is going to expect two mandatory and uh, like a couple of optional parameters as well. The first one is expression expression is nothing but so the whatever the column you are want to display here that you need to specify here so my expression is sum of sales amount sales sales amount comma sum of sales amount let me close this comma Here I need to pass a date related. So I can pass the date from the dim date. Dim date of or date. Let's click on close this. That's it. If you understand the syntax of it. So total YTD of sum of the sales amount comma dim date. Why? Because I need to calculate the Y2D uh, total sales till date starting from the e, starting of the year. Let's type enter. So once you type enter, it calculates the YTD for each and every row. Now if you see this. When you take the first date, when you take the first date, if you see the YTD for the first date in my table is 15. When you go to the YTD for the second table, it is addition of the first two, 25. Next, when you are February 10th, it is going to club the first all the three values, 30. Now, when you are in the March 28, it is going to sum all these four values. If you see these all, these, these, these and this, it is going to sum all the values. When you go to the March 30, it is summing off the all the values which is starting from the uh, starting of the year to till March 30. If you understand very clearly, it is summing of the values starting from the date, starting from the starting of the year to till date, whatever date you mention here. So that is how we apply. Now at the end, if you see the YTD for the end line is 540, it means that sum of the all the sales starting from the starting of the year to till 20th August. So if you see there is a change in each and every row value. First, the sum of the first value. Second, sum of the first two values. Third, sum of the first three values if you understand very clearly. So this is how we are going to apply a YTD in the Power BI.
So if you want to use this YTD in any of the visualization, in any of the tables, you can go and use it. Otherwise, let's come here and let's display this. Let's take the table and display the date, sales amount and YTD. This is how if you want to display. So let me increase some little font size. Values, yeah, let me increase some wall values size. Okay, so column headers also let me increase. So once you see this, this is how you are going to see this. So you can uh, you can draw even um, uh, what I say uh, visualizations as well on the top of it. So this is how we are going to calculate the YTD in the Power BI DAX. So if you really observe YTD syntax, the syntax of the YTD is total YTD of sum of the sales amount comma the date filter date you need to pass that's it thank you for watching if you have any questions on the power bi dax or msbi please write a mail to trying to sql at the rate gmail.com thank you for watching please subscribe for more power bi msbi videos thank you